is the e-commerce coffee break the podcast dedicated to shopify store owners who want to optimize their business for maximum conversions and revenue each week you're going to get actionable advice and hear from special guests talking about various topics on how to run a profitable business on shopify learn how to survive in the fast-changing e-commerce world with your host klaus lauter and get e-commerce insights you can't google welcome to the show Hey, it's Klaus here with another quick tip episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Today, I want to talk about search engine optimization and why it sucks. Now, Google obviously is the market leader when it comes to search and Google is also a money making machine. Back in time, Google had the claim to be not evil. That has changed over time, to be honest. Now, the problem with search engine optimization is it does not work as good as it was in the past. A lot of people that I talk to, store owners say, yeah, I'm focusing on search engine optimization. Paid advertising has become too expensive. So I rather go into generic, generic search results and try my luck there. The problem there is the generic search results do not look like they looked in the past. Now, if you google and um, open your google window and type in a search term then you will see before the organic search results are really coming up there's a ton of other things going on so usually you search for something i have an example here i'm searching for a smartwatch for instance and what comes up first is google shopping ads so there we are already in the range of paid ads that are put in front of me. And depending on um, what the product is, I get a number of Google shopping ads first and they take about 20, 30% off the screen. So I need definitely to scroll down to see more search results. Then I get a search result that might or might not fit. And then the next block that comes is people are also asks. So there is basically four questions in there gives me an idea what people are also looking for. If I open this, I most likely get some websites are ranking very, very high for LSE keywords. Um, they might or might not be the right thing that I'm looking for. Now, specifically, if you're looking in a range for selling a physical product, the likelihood that Amazon will pop up there is very, very high. Also, it might be that you will see images or videos there, YouTube videos. So now before you come really to good organic search results where you as, as a marketer potentially might have a chance to get your snippet in there, it takes a while people have to really scroll down. So as I said, you have shopping ads, you have videos, um, you have related searches and so on and so forth, all coming down there before then it really starts with your specific search results there. And there's more things coming. So being in the top 10 search ranks, obviously still a good proof. If you're on a second page, you can almost forget it. So no one will go there. There's no so many options on the first search results page of Google that people will in a 95% chance not leave this page. So you really need to get in there. Now, with that being said, the tip here for this episode is you need to have a multi-channel strategy. So if you really want to get on the first page of Google and you want to really get organic traffic, then you need to have your product also on video on YouTube so that it ranks there. And then there is a chance that it sort of flips into the first page of Google search results. Same with images, optimize your images for SEO. And obviously you should always make sure that you take some budget and put it into Google shopping ads, which will give you the highest ranking on the search results pages if you're selling physical products. So if you really want to be on top of Google, then there is, and you're selling a physical product, then there is no way around it that you need to get your Google shopping ads right and start ranking in this specific category. And then also that you have a, um, a long tail keyword strategy where it comes into the range where people also ask and they should come up there. So for instance, for a smartwatch that I'm looking for, Google also tells me what is the main, main, uh, main purpose of a smartwatch, which best smart for smartwatches. Uh, what's the price for a smartwatch? Can you text from a smartwatch? So all of these things need to be part of your content strategy. So you want to have a blog that basically works with this long tail keywords is optimized for this so that this also gives you a chance to end up on the first page of Google. That being said, you should definitely continue with your long-term strategy on using SEO, but don't only focus on the product detail page if you're running a Shopify store and then think your product detail page will somehow rank in Google. 
very, very unlikely you need to really have a multi-channel SEO strategy. And then you can hope for the best that one of these channels, it might be your YouTube channel, it might be your blog, will end up in a high ranking on Google. That's it for this today's quick tip episode. I hope you could get something out of it. Leave, let me know if you have any questions, put them in the comments, I'll read them all and I see you in the next episode. Have a good day. Hey Klaus here. If you're a Shopify store owner and you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed and not sure what to do next to grow your business, you struggle to convert traffic into sales or turn website visitors into buyers and you want to like have direct access to a mentor who can assist you with your store strategy, offer marketing, sales and anything else you need, then I would like to invite you to apply for my Get Conversions program where I show you how to remove the guest work out of growing your Shopify business and create clarity to optimize your business for maximal growth and profit. It's a application only program to apply go to my website klauslauter.com to learn more and finally please do not forget to subscribe like and comment and i would be grateful if you would leave a quick honest rating and review over at apple itunes it's a huge help and allows me to reach more people with the podcast thanks in advance and until next time at the e-commerce coffee break